Hey guys, how you doing? Well, this is a Colt video, of course. And this Colt you haven't seen before, except maybe in my collection video, an old one. Haven't gotten this one out in a while. And this particular Colt is a snake. And it is a beautiful King Cobra. It's never been fired. Come on, camera, focus. Bear with me. Focus. Ah, this camera. Here we go. Alrighty. Six inch barrel. Got the Packmire grips, the rampant horse, the rampant colt. You also have the rampant colt up here. Got the beautiful cylinder ejector. And it also, when I bought this, I bought this. Sorry about the camera, I can't do anything about it. Bought it at Fred's Guns for $383. Brand new, it's never been fired. This is in Colt Blue. Now this isn't in Royal Blue. This isn't like the Colt Pythons that I have. It's more like the Diamondback. This is a 357 Magnum and 6 inch barrel. They put this in when they ship it. But as you can see, it's a magnificent, magnificent firearm. Let's see if I can't wipe any of the dust off here. This is on the same frame as the Lawman. You have adjustable sights for windage and elevation. White outline. Matte finish ramp. To the red ramp on the sights. Turning it over. Three fifty seven Magnum cartridge. It's a very intimidating gun. It's a very beautiful gun. I wish I would have gotten this in 4 inch as well. You can see it does have some serrations on the trigger. Never been fired in this beast. I'll give you as much detail as I can in the time allotted. When you compare this to a Smith & Wesson Model 19 Yeah, I better unload that first. Compared to Smith & Wesson Model 19, you can see the differences in how the ejector on a Model 19, you push the ejector 
or push this latch forward on a colt, you pull it backwards. And on this cylinder, you can see that it's recessed. Let me see if I can get in on the stamping here. You do have a really nice serrated trigger. This does work off a transfer bar system. Nice ejector. It's a heavy, heavy gun. And it's not that much different from the Model 19. But it's a cold and not a Smith & Wesson. These guns have skyrocketed in value. And I'll show you the transfer bar. It doesn't have the finish of a cold python, but as you can tell, it's a very, very, and I'll show you the hammer here. It's a very, very beautiful piece. Trigger pull is relatively light. Lock up is exacting. If you ever have a chance to pick up a Colt revolver and you can't afford a Python and you can't afford a Diamondback, you might be able to get a hold of a King Cobra. But all these guns cost quite a bit of money. I mean, these have really, really gone up. But it's on the lawman frame. It's not a D frame, it's not an I frame. I forget what the frame is on this. But yeah, a beautiful, beautiful gun. I thought I'd let you check it out since you haven't seen this particular one. I love the way that this muzzle looks. Full underlug, no vent rib on top, but you do have a ramp and you do have adjustable sights. It's a very accurate gun. Anyway, It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope you like checking out the Python, or not the Python, the King Cobra. I got Pythons on my head. But, uh, Pythons on the brain. But yeah, the King Cobra is a low cost alternative to a Python. It doesn't have the hand polished lock works, but, uh, and actually, I believe this has a spring just like the Smith & Wesson's, a coil spring on here. Now, I, I haven't taken this uh, apart. It's been a long time. I'm not sure, but I believe somebody might, if, if any of you guys uh, have one of these, you can just shoot a shoot a comment in. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to take the grips off. I'll probably just look it up. I can't remember. But uh, I do believe that they did make these in stainless, nickel, and blue. And I'm not sure... I don't know if they made them in nickel. I know they made them in stainless, polished stainless. I believe and Colt Blue but I believe that it does have a coil spring rather than uh, I believe it's a leaf spring mechanism it's much like the uh, 
Smith and Wesson in that regard. Now, if I'm wrong, just, you know, shoot me a message. Don't be a prick. Uh, you know, I just haven't really gotten this out in a while. I used to know Colts backwards and forwards. And uh, as life goes on and things take, you know, take more importance, uh, I forget some of the things I knew about these Colts when I started collecting them. I hope that's enough detail for you. I hope you enjoyed it. 357 Magnum. This does shoot 38 Special as well. It's a beautiful target gun. They made them in two and a half, I believe. It could have been, yeah, two and a half, four, six, and I don't believe they made an eight inch, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, $383 for something as beautiful as this yeah really nice might not be a python but damn I looked at them when they were in four inch and I thought boy that would be so nice because a four inch really looks cool in this but six inch that's what I went with and that's what I got Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all doing well. As far as this, I've been looking for the ideal holster. I picked up one of these. Uh, this is a Don Hume. And it's real nice. It's brand new, but it doesn't hold this gun very... It's it's tight, and it's, it's stiff. So what I did was I found... I just happened to go on eBay and I saw another you've seen in my other videos a Buckmeyer uh, Buckmeyer holster for uh, my uh, Smith & Wesson Chief Special and a uh, Detective Special and this is just as supple as it can get it's plain black rather than the basket weave it's concealment holster and man it's just it's so smooth and this gun just fits perfect the guy didn't know what what he said that he bought it for a Rossi two inch but it didn't fit uh, when I got it I went ahead and put a Colt uh, detective special in it and or it could have been a Cobra and it didn't fit and I thought wow I wonder what it fits so I got out the old trusty model 19 and it fits like a glove just a beautiful beautiful fit and for concealed carry I'll show you this too sorry if I'm navigating kind of away from the sole purpose of the video but yeah it's got a thumb snap and man it's just it's a really good concealment holster Heavy, heavy when you, I mean, these guns are heavy. There's no doubt about it. You'll know when you're wearing it. But for right side carry, wow. Anyway, hope you like the Colt King Cobra. And I hope you're all doing well. Take it easy, guys. Later on.